Good day, fellas. Today, I'm going to be walking you through another interesting step-by-step -step guide on how to bypass iPhone lock to owner with team working and all Apple services using HFZ 1.0, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. If you are new to this channel, I'm Ben Sigma, and what I do here is to help people get comprehensive information on how to mitigate the effect of iCloud activation lock on their iOS devices. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor by smashing the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for future updates. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. The link to download the tool is available in the description below for both Windows and Mac OS. So once you're done with the download, you just need to unzip the file and install. It's just basically any other, just how you install any other regular um, Windows app or Mac app. It's very simple, you just install. So once you're done with the installation, you just open or launch the tool. This is how the interface looks like. And it's very easy. I'll, you can see my device connected and it's, it's running on the iOS 16.7.7, which is currently the latest um, signed firmware by Apple for iPhone 10. And uh, before we start, or before we start with the jailbreak and bypass, let me first uh, talk to you about some issues that people have been um, complaining to me about. I think it's a driver issue. You just open your device management. And uh, I also feel this issue personally. You just uh, click on this option. And then what you need to do is to just uh, uninstall this driver from the side section so if you see the driver connected and the universal serial bus instead of the universal serial bus controllers you just right click on uninstall and then you refresh if you refresh you have to see the driver connected under this uh, universal serial bus controller and you need to check the driver version if it is running on uh, this version and it's on the 2017 version you are good to go it's all good so once the driver is okay you might not if you might face error if the driver is not fixed and then you are good to go so just click on the start jailbreak and then the tool is going to put your device into recovery as usual All right, sure. So once your device is in recovery mode, you have to put the device into DFU mode by holding the uh, uh, combination keys, as you already know. You just click on start button and follow the screen instructions to put the device into the DFU mode. So once the device is in DFU, the jailbreak will begin as usual. This is a very simple software and it has no, um, and it no, nothing to <laughs> hassle about. It's very easy and it's one click. I prefer this tool over some other Windows um, Hello Signal tools in the, on the market. All right, sure. So after the jailbreak process is completed, uh, you just have to click on the activate button. Also, uh, you need to watch the video to end. I'll be leaving a discount code uh, on how to uh, uh, discount code to register our devices. So you want to go ahead and stick to the end of the video. So just click on the activate button and then we are good to go. So this is going to um, skip the setup straight forward to the home screen and it's going to bypass with sim working and all Apple services, inclu including FaceTime, iMessage and all those iCloud things and the rest. It's going to work perfectly. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor by smashing the subscribe button. This is another way. That's one of the ways you can use to support this channel. All right, sure. So here we are. We have successfully bypassed. Let me real quick insert the SIM card for us to see that uh, the SIM and everything is working. All right, so you can see the SIM is working, the SIM card is working, and then let me real quick try to just call a line. All right, so this one, and you can clearly see that everything is working. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. 
uh till then um peace out <laughs>